This video will explain you the clinical steps for the palpation of trachea. Traditional teaching explains two methods for the palpation of trachea. The first one is the screening method. The other is the insinuation method. The screening method is relative, uh, relatively an insensitive method to identify the palpation of trachea and uh, having said that it picks up only a, a very gross deviation of the trachea to one side. Now this picture explains the steps involved in the screening method. First you will place your index finger and the ring finger over the sternoclavicular joint as shown by the blue arrow mark. The middle finger will be then placed over the anterior most prominent part of the laryngeal cartilage which is the technically the beginning of the trachea for all clinical purposes which is identified by the yellow arrow. So once these three fingers are stabilized the middle finger is gradually stroked in the midline as you can see in the diagram 2 in a downward direction so that you reach the suprasternal notch. So when you st uh, stroke your finger over the trachea if it is grossly deviated uh, your sensory perception will tell you that the trachea is deviated to one side. Now once you reach the suprasternal notch you will dip your finger a little bit as shown in the picture 4 and see if the trachea is deviated to one side or the other. The insinuation method is can be called as a preferred method wherein the first two steps are the same that is you use your index finger and the ring finger to place over the sternoclavicular joint and then the picture 1 shows that the middle finger is actually pushed inside the space between the lateral margin of the trachea and the anterior margin of the sternocleidomastoid. Now technically you ins attempt to insinuate the finger into it. Now step 2 will be to palpate the same site on the symmetrically on the right side. So when you insert your finger between the space between the trachea and the sternocleidomastoid normal healthy individuals you will feel a uh, resistance. Now if this resistance appear to be increased and in the symmetrically opposite side if this resistance is glossly decreased or it gives a give way it indicates that the trachea is deviated to the side where you are actually appreciating the resistance. Now the picture 3 and 4 shows the same procedure but little lower down compared to the first two picture. So you keep moving down symmetrically on both sides feeling the amount of resistance between the trachea and the sternocleidomastoid and ultimately you end up in the sternal notch where you attempt to insinuate your finger and see which direction it is moving. Ensure that in the last two steps you, you do not produce any undue discomfort or pain to the patient. Please view the videos on the screening method as well as the insinuation method for examining the tracheal position. You can find it under the playlist respiratory system in this channel.